francamente me ne infischio. Ce lo fate. <ride> I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Oh, impressive win. I think mostly is our tools improve, they get faster. And so we tend to create more complexity as we go. So like if you look at Toy Story from 95, um, one of those images would render in, I think we could render the entire movie in one day. I think that the typical image in one of our movies probably takes as long to render now as it did then, but our images are so much more complicated and you know, we have a little more time to make them look prettier because the computers are so fast. So we, we tend to um, kind of work at the same, same pace, we just add more to it and add more complexity, um, more realistic looking lighting. I uh, visited the motion capture stage uh, on Avatar while they were in production and was fascinated by it. Um, and then when I read the script for Real Steel, I realized that it was a perfect um, story to take advantage of that, but we would have to take the technology a little further than they had uh, used it on Avatar because Avatar is synthetic characters in a synthetic world whereas our movie took place entirely in a real environments, real locations. Uh, so to achieve that what we did was we, Giant Studios who provided our motion capture technology and services, uh, made their system portable and we took it on location with us to Detroit. Um, having done all the motion capture of the robots fighting ahead of time in Los Angeles and then in Detroit played back that animation and used the motion capture technology for the simulcam process which allowed us to while we were shooting see robots through the camera and on the director's monitor as if the robots were actually there in the physical location. So we had a number of challenges in trying to translate uh, the world of Hergé as, as he drew it into a three-dimensional movie. Um, it, it was from both from the character design um, some of the ways in which he would draw some of the characters, Tintin and Snowy, he would draw them from uh, certain angles and because our camera was going to move around and our characters were going to have to talk and their faces were going to change, we had to adapt how they would look and how also how they would, how they would react to light to sort of see, um, to make them work inside the film. And we always tried to stay very close to how he drew them, so we only ever made changes you know, that, that we absolutely needed to. As a fellow in, within Autodesk, I study emerging technologies and we have experts that look at uh, the next generation of digital animation tools and digital modeling tools. My area of focus is, is the longer term, the five to ten, seven year to ten year term. And I look specifically at emerging technologies such as synthetic biology, nanotechnology and certain types of uh, metadata visualization tools. What's ex I think is very exciting about these new tools is um, we have three big technology trends. We have one, the capacity to digitize the world. Secondly, we can take those big data visual uh, information models and process them with literally infinite computing power. And thirdly, we can now take those digital models and quite literally print out objects of different sizes. Finally, get into principal photography. We used for a scene that had no robots in it at all we used the virtual production pipeline to plan the logistics of the shoot and it allowed us to shoot a sequence that normally would have taken at least a week um, we were able to shoot it in three and a half nights because we were so well prepared uh, by using the, the virtual production uh, tools at our disposal i'm not really sure where the next challenge is for cinema to go um, very definitely computer graphics has changed 
how we see movies. Not even in you know big blockbusters like say Transformers or Pirates of the Caribbean or Avatar, but you know movies like um, we'll say like Black Swan or things where there's a lot of seamless visual effects and computer graphics go on, and they've really changed the tools that filmmakers have had um, available to them. I, I think that maybe with computer graphics now we can tell some of the biggest stories, things that may not have been able to be done, and by that I mean probably without without advances in computer graphics, you couldn't have made a movie like Avatar. 